All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to set up a crowdfunding campaign for your WordPress page that is going to look something like this. If you're not sure what crowdfunding is, it can be a really excellent way to generate income for your business or your prospective business or product without having to give away portions of your company. Normally, in order to get investors involved with your company, you have to give away a portion of the company for the money they're bringing in. Crowdfunding doesn't operate like that. With crowdfunding, what's normally going to happen is that people are either going to donate to you just because they want to back and support your product or because they want something in exchange, but it's usually a good deal for them, good deal for you. They're gonna give you investment that you need to get your product off the ground, get your business going, and in return, you maybe give them a discount or a discounted product. Sometimes with crowdfunding, the fees can be pretty high. And when you're trying to raise money for a nonprofit or for a charity, that's obviously not ideal. You can also end up in a position where a lot of the presentation elements aren't quite what you want either. However, if you can do it on your own WordPress website exactly as you want and with reduced fees, why wouldn't you? Well, clearly, that's why you've clicked on this video. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. And we, of course, are going to use Charitable. So to get started, we want to be on our WordPress admin dashboard, as you can see right here. Now you are gonna need the Charitable plugin. You can see I have mine installed. I've got the Charitable plugin in my sidebar. But if you need to know where this is, go up to plugins and go to add new plugin. From here, we're just gonna sweep across to the search plugins bar and we're gonna search for Charitable. Charitable will then pop up on the left-hand side here as the top option. And all you have to do is hit this button here to install now, hang around and then click activate. Charitable will then automatically open or you will find it in your sidebar just over here. So we just come over and click on Charitable and we will be greeted by the Charitable dashboard. From here, we have a couple of options. What we want to do is to create a campaign and it's right here. I can press on this green button and create campaign. I can also come down into the sidebar, click on campaigns, and it's gonna give me the option to add new just here. You can see I've got a couple of campaigns already running, but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create that crowdfunding campaign. So. Let's do that. We're gonna click on add new right here. This brings you through to the templates page. This is all essentially a builder and a wizard that's gonna make this really, really easy for you. It's all drag and drop. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna name the campaign. I'm just gonna call this one crowdfunding campaign. Once I've done that, I can come down here. Now I can start from scratch. I generally wouldn't do that. I like to use the templates that are available. So let's select one of these templates and let's use this one just here. I'm gonna click on create campaign. Now you don't need to worry what is on the template at all. Everything is customizable, every piece of text, every image. So even in this instance where you can see we have a crowdfunding campaign that I've created for an animal sanctuary, despite the fact that that's not actually much to do with my website, I can amend everything that's here to whatever I want it to be to suit my campaign. Let me show you how to do a couple of those things. Let's say I don't want the organizer there. We can just delete that. Yes, we're gonna delete that field nice and easy. Uh, we have crowdfunding campaign here, which is the name of course that we entered. Then we have the image. Let's say we don't particularly want this image. We can come up here, click on the little pencil icon to edit the photo and head across to the left-hand side. You're gonna do pretty much all of your editing in this left-hand panel. I'm just gonna come over and I'm gonna click on upload. That upload is going to bring me through to my media library, which is right here where I can select any of the images that I already have in place for my, uh, for my website already. Let's say I want to use this one right here so I can select that. If you do want to upload a brand new image, you can come across to upload files and you just drag and drop the file you want just there. So let's go to my media library, select this photo here, 
and click on this button down the bottom to upload. And there we go. We can see my image has already changed. We're starting to adjust exactly how this looks. Let's bring the, uh, the width down just to show you how that looks. I'm going to keep it at maximum. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the share now follow now. So this is the social media icons that I can add. I'll show you how to add those in a second. And let's adjust this text while we're here. So just here again, click on the pencil icon to edit the campaign description. And we can change the headline and also the description. So let's just go ahead and do that with some text I have prepared. Okay, that's done. And then we have an overview section here, which just currently has an about us section, which again, we can adjust should we want to. So about us, we're going to leave it as about us, but we are just going to amend the text here. So let's put in some other text. Perfect. Now I'm building this on a charity page. So this is the general look and feel I'm going for, but this can be used across any business or organization, depending on your needs. Like I say, if you are a startup business or you are a business that's looking to crowdfund a particular product, this is all going to work absolutely perfectly for you. Now, from here, we can head across to the tabs section. And if we wanted to add more tabs, we can do it. So you can see we have the overview tab right now. So if we click on add new tab here, we can give that a new name. So it doesn't have to be new tab, of course. We can call this the where are we tab there we go and then from this tab you can see down the bottom here it's asking if i want to drag a block from the left into this area so let's show you how to do that i'm going to go up here and i'm going to go to add layout just up the top and then here this is where we're going to drag the tabs into that section now because i'm adding a where are we tab in this instance i obviously want information about where we can be found, where we can be located. So let's head down. And in this instance, I am just going to add a very simple piece of text. So I'm going to drag the text option into there. Then, of course, we can come over here. We can adjust the headline. I'm just going to call that address. And we can come down and add in our address just there. Nice and straightforward. So we now have two tabs that we can go between that have different information. And of course you can expand that, but text seems pretty basic. So let's show you how to add a few other different tabs that can do some really cool stuff. Now we have a donate now button here, which is great. Obviously we want people to be able to donate, but what about if we made that process a little bit faster? We added a donate amount, which I'm going to drag in and I'm going to put it just underneath that one there. And immediately people can now pick and choose a donation amount. So they just click on it and make that donation. It skips a step, essentially. If you want to change the amounts, you can absolutely do that. So we can start by just adjusting these. Let's bring them up a little bit. Let's be ambitious and see what we've got. And that immediately changes there. Looks absolutely great. And if we want to give it a headline, let's call it quick donate. We can absolutely do that. I think it looked better without in that instance. So let's just delete that really easy to do. Again, let's go back over to the ad layout and something else that I really like is the progress bar. So let's grab the progress bar here, drag it in. and I'm going to pop this one above the donate now button. So this is essentially giving people a progress bar as you would expect. You can change the labels and the goals and add a headline if you want. In this instance, I'm not going to do any of that. But what I do need to do is I need to make sure that there is a goal set for the campaign. Otherwise, this won't show. The way we do that is we come across to settings and there we go. We can see that there is a goal option. So we're going to click on goal and we're going to set that to a thousand dollars. If we want to set some kind of end date, maybe to create a little bit of urgency, especially with crowdfunding, an end date can be crucial because there is likely to be a definitive line at which you have to have your funding in by. So let's set that to the 30th of September. From here, we can go back to our design and you can see that that has pretty much immediately 
become active looks absolutely fantastic. So your options really are great. There's loads and loads of stuff you can do with the layouts and it's all drag and drop and it makes perfect sense. Again, it doesn't have to be all dropped in this area. We can go ahead and drop another photo over into this area here, put it into the sidebar, immediately pops up with our media library and let's add that image just there. Perfect. Now it's starting to look really, really nice. I'm going to come across to the advanced options here. We're not going to worry about this too much, but you can start to adjust your tab style and things like that. Uh, so let's just show you, you can do rounded. You can see it's adjusted these tabs here. Minimum where there's nothing at all. I'm just going to leave it as boxed. Same with the sizes. You can change how they look. And then if we come down here, we can start to adjust some colors. So I'm just going to click on this one and I'm just going to change them to match up a little bit better with my um, with my theme, with what my website looks like. So this is looking great and we can start to think about publishing this and embedding it on a page, but there's a couple of things I want to show you first. If we head across to the marketing tab on the left-hand side here, you can see that you can actually integrate Charitable with your email marketing software, your email marketing service. And this is a really great way of getting more information out to your donors, out to potential people who are going to come and support your crowdfunding campaign. You do, however, need to look at getting Charitable Pro in order to do that. And that's something we're going to talk about a little bit more towards the end of the video. We can also head across to payment. And again, there's lots of options. Many of them are available with Charitable Pro, but you get Stripe and PayPal built in to charitable, which is, in my opinion, fantastic. And for a lot of people, all that you're going to need. We are going to connect Stripe, which again, we are going to do in a second. Let's go back to our design and we're going to publish this page. So let's go from draft to publish. And then we are going to click here on save. So from here, we can see that the campaign has been published and it says, do you want to embed this campaign? This is exactly what we want to do. So we're just going to use the embed wizard because it's actually really, really easy. So I'm going to click on embed wizard and you can either embed this in an existing page or you can create a brand new one. We are going to create a new one so that this can sit on its own page. So let's click here on create new page. What would we like to call the page? We're going to call it crowdfunding campaign. And let's go. So what this does is it takes you through to your page editor, to the blocks editor, which is absolutely ideal because all we have to do at this point is we either need to go here to this little black plus to add a block, or we just need to come up to the block inserter here, click here, and we're going to type and search for charitable click on the charitable campaign and drag it onto your page. Now this is going to give you a charitable box where you're going to select the campaign that you want to embed into this page. Now, obviously it's the crowdfunding campaign and uh, not the other two that I've already created. So I'm going to click on crowdfunding campaign. And then from here, I don't have to do anything else. All I need to do is publish the page. So I'm just going to click on publish. And then I'm going to click on publish again. So the crowdfunding campaign page is now live, but let's attach that to a button and see what it looks like if you go through it directly from the website. So I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to copy the page address and I'm going to head back over to my WordPress admin dashboard. From the dashboard, I'm going to go back over to the pages section just here. And I'm just going to go to my home page just here. And I'm going to click on edit. So this is what my homepage looks like. And there's a variety of different buttons on my homepage. Now, what I want to do is I want to add to this button here, just that campaign. So I'm going to click here onto the button. I'm going to come across to the right hand side to the call to action button, which is what I'm editing. Go into the drop down. I'm going to paste the link just into link right there. Now, obviously it would make sense if this said crowdfunding campaign as opposed to read more. So let's do that. Let's delete that and change that to crowdfunding campaign. So this is now front and center on my WordPress page. 
that's all done. And I'm just going to come up to the top here and save. Now we've done that. Let's go and have a look at what it will look like on the website. Exactly what I showed you at the start of the video. So there we have my homepage. As you can see just here, if we scroll down, you can actually see I have another charitable campaign just embedded directly on the homepage. So you can absolutely do that if you want to, rather than sending it out through a button. That's where I showed you that you can add to an existing page or create a new one. That would be adding to an existing page to my homepage. So we're going to go through to the page that we made, the crowdfunding campaign, by just clicking on this button. And there we have our crowdfunding campaign. Now, what you'll notice is that this has taken on a lot of different elements from my theme, which is absolutely fantastic. It just means everything looks a lot more seamless. So, for example, the text is now in line with what I use across the rest of the website. So do be aware when you are designing that you're going to pull elements from your theme so that your charitable campaign, your crowdfunding campaign, matches up with the rest of your website. Of course, we want to take a look at what happens when people do donate. And again, this is where charitable, an area where charitable excels. We just hit this donate now button right here. And that is going to take us through to this page. And there you go. Quite simply, enter details and they can donate. It really is that simple. Now, as you can see, it says here there's no active payment gateways. Of course, this means that we have to make sure that either PayPal or Stripe are active. So let's go and do that. We're going to head across to the admin dashboard again. I'm just going to do it from here. Head into Charitable by clicking on Charitable. And you can actually see it's in the getting started section here, you need to enable a payment gateway. So we can click on there, but we can also go to settings just here and you can see your general settings. So you can change things like your currency, currency format and base country. But what we're interested in is payment gateways. So we'll click on payment gateways just here and you can see you've got your options of Stripe or PayPal. All really easy to set up. You, of course, need a Stripe or PayPal account to make this work. But let's click on Enable Gateway for Stripe. So here it's going to give you the option to connect with Stripe and name your gateway label. I'm just going to leave that as Stripe, but I am going to click here on Connect with Stripe. And it's going to take you through to this page. It's all step by step. You quite simply enter your email, email address for your Stripe account, follow that through, and it's going to connect everything so that you can then accept donations. I'm going to do that and then we're going to head back and I will show you what that looks like on the donations page. OK, so back on our crowdfunding page, we're going to click here on donate now and we're going to see the page that comes up. You can see we now have, as we scroll down, options to take payment, name on card and credit card number. And that is because if we head back across to charitable, go to the dashboard, you can see that Stripe is now activated. That is something that you absolutely have to do in order to make your charitable campaign, your crowdfunding campaign effective or even work, to be honest. Now, I mentioned we were going to talk about Charitable Pro a little bit more. And the reason for that is because if we come down here into settings, you can see this tab here for ambassadors and peer to peer fundraising. Now, this is a pro feature and can be incredibly powerful. So in order to activate this and allow your friends and family to collect donations on behalf of your fundraiser, you want to click this video right here.